Hi guys, this is step one in a process look. So I wanted to show you step by step how to do what this is. Um, this is just a black eye with um, color stacks. And y'all know I use my grease paint color stacks like all the time. So that's all this is, is these grease paint color stacks um, that you get at any like Halloween supply store right now. You could probably order them online if you wanted to which is totally fine you can do that too excuse me but I uh, I saw this look and it was done by Goldie Starling um, she used Ben Nye's color wheel for bruising excuse me but I I totally just pulled these color stacks and watched her video and played and played and played until I got it kinda right um, it's not a horrible look I don't think I mean I would prefer it be a little bit better on me <clears throat> I mean it looks like I got punched in the face which let's be real is probably how, how I'd look after a fight anyway because I'd be like duck and cover don't hit me I'm too pretty um because me in a fight yeah that's gonna happen um anyway I keep putting on this KY jelly um, because you use it to make it look fresh right there. Anyway, this whole look will be, it's a process and I wanted to show you step by step. So in case you wanted to do like a fighter or, um, you know, a boxer or a UFC fighter or whatever, you could totally do that and it look realistic with this. Um, I'm about to do a split eyebrow and busted lip look and, uh, that you could incorporate as well. Um, again, all of these looks that I'm doing, I watched uh, Goldie Starling do, and she uses mostly the um, alcohol-based or alcohol-activated special effects makeup that's designed just for this, but not everybody's going to have access to that. So I decided to take it and turn it into a grease paint kind of look, but still give her credit for creating the look in itself. So. She's my inspiration for these looks, but I'm using grease paint. Because I can't. And honestly, $80 a palette's kind of pricey for me. So. Whatever. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the video. Um Hi guys, I'm back with another uh, Halloween tutorial. It is not an infected look, at least not yet. I've already primed, washed and primed my face, so let's jump straight into this video. I take my Smashbox foundation, uh, pump it out on the back of my hand, take a makeup sponge, and apply that all over my face. I then grab my Fergie Wet n Wild eyeshadow primer and apply that to the eye that after, to my eye after I decide which eye I'm going to apply it to, because. This is a series and I'm doing the black eye on one eye and something else to the other eye. So I have to figure out which one I'm going to blacken. So once I figure that out, because I am using grease paints and this helps my grease paint last longer. Well, it helps all makeup last longer. Let's be real. I apply it to that one eye. Then I take that red color that I've been using forever from my grease stack, my injury grease stack, grease paint stack. And I take a stipple sponge and I apply that red wherever I want the irritation to look the brightest. Um, you want the irritation to appear because you want it to look like you just got punched in the face. So you want it red. You want it purple. You want it to look swollen. As this look goes on, you'll see what I'm talking about. But apply that red with that stipple sponge. I blend it out a little bit as I go because I've done this look before and I, I don't want it to look too fake. So that's what I'm doing. I take a e.l.f. flat liner. I think is what it's called. I'll link it below. Um. And that purple color that I love, and I'm going to the inner corner and the outer corner of my eye, and that's all I'm going to do right now because I decide I want to go ahead and do the purple bruise look up on top of that eye because I want to give that color up there so that way it helps me figure out exactly how I'm going to do the bottom part, and I'll you'll see that in just a second. After I get that purple up there and in the corner of my eye, I'm going to take that liner that brush again from elf and that purple and I'm going to go all the way across my waterline I'm gonna go up in the corner of my eye and then down because you want it to all be connected you don't want there to be a brush stroke gap where 
your brush ended. Then I'm going to go from the outer corner to the inner corner on that lower lash line with that purple. And I'm going to come down a little bit. And I'm slowly creating the pocket where it's going to be the most swollen is what I'm doing. So I take the green and the purple. I'm not the green and the purple. The green and the yellow. And I was going to start with the bright yellow and change my mind. And then I was going to go with the muddy yellow or the dirty yellow, whichever I'm going to call it. And then I was like, no, that's not going to work either. So I went back to the bright yellow. What can you say? I'm an artist. I make changes in my mind in the middle of filming. So, you know, whatever, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> anyway, so I stuck with the bright green and the bright yellow. The trick to this is you mix those two colors on the same stippling sponge and apply it just to the outermost area of your bruise. You don't want to apply it anywhere else. You want it to look like maybe that outer part is start, starting to heal because maybe you didn't get hit so hard there. Then after I do that, I then go in with my muddy or yellow color um, to give it some more like depth and more look of recovery, kind of, if that makes sense. Anyway, I go back with that red color because there were a couple of sections on my face on my eye that looked um, a little too yellow, a little too green. So I went back and touched them up with that to even it out a little bit, to give it a little more color, a little more depth. Um, and then I go back in with that purple yet again. And if you can see right under my eye, there's, it looks like right where I just drew, it looks like a pocket where I got popped and it's swollen right there. It's supposed to look swollen. That is not anything except my skin and that grease paint. There is no prosthetic on that. There's nothing else. Once I get that created, I then take and blend it out with my finger as always because I want it to look more like a bruise than like I've used um, a brush. I don't want any brush strokes in this at all. So once I get that done, I'm going to touch up because I came too far down on my nose for my purple. Um, so I'm wiping some of that away. And after I get that done, I'm then going to take a translucent powder. Any translucent powder that you have on hand will work. Absolutely. You do not have to go out and buy a special one. I grab a translucent powder and a brush and I dust it all over very, very lightly just to set that grease paint to help it last longer. Once I have that done, I will then grab some KY jelly, take it off of the back of my hand. You can even use Vaseline. You just want to put it on that pocket that I've created. And, oh, I forgot a step. I forgot my next lip liner that I use as an eyeliner in red. Anyway, back to the KY Jelly or Vaseline. You apply that where your swollen area will appear. So that way it looks more realistic. And once you have that done, your look will be complete. So I do hope that you enjoy this look. I hope you like it. Try it if you want. That's my entire look. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you in my next video. Bye.